Hey, it's Court. I'm uh, actually hanging out here, getting ready to meet up with Ken from Ridekick out of Fort Collins, Colorado. I'm going to do a quick review of the Ridekick itself and get to try out one of their beta units or test unit. Uh, this is my, my ride over here. I got a specialized Cirrus. It's just sort of a base model bike. There's no shocks or anything. And it's got uh, the 700 millimeter uh, tires, smooth rolling, that kind of stuff. So it's, it's just an around town bike. It's all aluminum frame. Um, not the lightest thing, but it gets the job done. And what I've got back here is an extra wheel, which is a type of trailer that I chose because it's not quite as long as uh, some of the Bob Yak types of things. It's also a little bit lighter. It was a little bit cheaper. And instead of having sort of like a cargo container here and then a little wheel at the back, it's got a full-size wheel that I could actually swap off and use on my normal bike. Like if I needed some parts or if I was really on an adventure or something like that, you know, it kind of, it's nice to have hardware that matches. And again, instead of using sort of the sled approach, this just uses um, a, a pannier system. So you can connect any panniers that you want and it holds up to like 65 pounds. So it's a pretty sweet system, very flexible. Originally, I was going to connect this with a, a hub motor back here. And par again, part of the reason I like these bigger wheels uh, is that they, they match up with the wheels that have hub motors pre-installed. I didn't want to mess around with like a tiny little wheel and having to do all that. And that's, a, that's what a lot of the Bob Yak trailers and the alternatives have. They have smaller wheels with a small radius. So this, was, this is perfect in a lot of ways. Unfortunately, the hub motor that I got was... It was just too wide, and so if you see these pipes right here, the hub motor was gonna it was gonna like touch these pipes, and I would have had to do some custom fabrication or whatever. So in the meantime, I've just kind of left this as a human-powered trailer, and it's still great because I can go from my regular bike cruising around town, doing whatever I want, total freedom, to like you know in a snap, just boom. Now we've got a trailer. It keeps the weight lower than it would be if it was back here on sort of a normal rack that bikes have. So the, the cargo is a little bit lower, that's better for your center of gravity, and again, I can just connect this or disconnect it very easily. So it's a good solution, but what we're going to see now is the ride kick, and it's very similar to this. Instead of using um, the, the axle here to connect, it's just going to use sort of the standard burly trailer like triangle thing that connects right here, and then there's it comes back here and it's plastic and it's you know custom made, it's got a built-in motor, it uses lead acid batteries so it's a pretty cool solution um, it actually pushes your bike and it locks you know as opposed to these panniers which someone could just steal if they wanted to uh... the cool thing about it you know you, you can you can always run locks through it and everything i guess anything's a little bit vulnerable but the ride kicks i think just a little bit tougher it's a little bit it's definitely heavier it's like forty pounds um, but you know we're gonna we're gonna see how it rides and uh... do a little comparison